The eighth round of the Motorsport UK British Rallycross Championship Five Nations Trophy is held at Lytton Hill in Kent. It is time for the Super Retro Final with a nine-car grid. Lee Wood on pole position, Jamie McBain and Barry Stewart on the front row. Vince Bristow, Alan Tapscott on row two. Emery, Ewan, Davey and Cross completing the grid as we shift our attention to the lights for the final time this season in Super Retro. What's going to happen and who will be crowned as the 2023 champion? Lights go green and we go racing. Lee Wood gets away well, but keep an eye out for Barry. Barry Stewart in the 911. It's always a fast starter, and he gets the whole shot down to the first corner. That's Tapped got facing the wrong way. Jamie McBain, I think, involved in that as well here to take some evasive action there. Well, it's all kicked off, and we're not even a corner into the race. So, Lee Wood it is that leads the way as they come through the left-hander and across the jump, followed by Barry Stewart. Then it's Vince Bristow, then Dave Ewan in his Ford Fiesta. Drama already in Super Retro. Absolutely love to see a bit of drama as it so often is the case in this category. Barry Stewart there using the straight line speed of that Porsche 911 to close up onto the back of Lee Wood, but no opportunity, no room at the end for him for now. Lee Wood is the championship elect in this category. He could be crowned as the Super Retro champion here this afternoon as he makes his way through the final corner of Paddock and across the timing line. Barry Stewart, though, is keeping him very honest indeed. No joker laps, of course, in the retro or indeed in the super retro categories as Vince Bristow gets it all high and sideways up through Talladega in his BMW E36. Now, let's see whether Vince Bristow can launch a challenge onto the back of Barry Stewart. We know that that Porsche 911 of Barry is very fast off of the line, but seems to fade a little bit in the mid-stages of the race and you wonder whether Vince Bristow might be able to mount a challenge. The last time I saw that that E36 BMW it was on its roof and had to be reshelled. It was a little while ago I must admit but Vince always provides a spectacular show for the fans here and that is no exception I'm sure this weekend as they come down the bottom of the hill. Lee Wood in first place, Barry Stewart in second, then it's Vince Bristow got a pronounced gap as he gets it sideways over the jump. Dave Ewan in fourth position as it sits for now. This is nice and exciting as we're used to seeing. I wonder what Alan Tapscott's going to be able to do as he was facing the wrong way. It's an early end though to the race for Jamie McBain in the Peugeot 205. That's a huge shame for him because he's going to be selling that car at the end of this year as we're side by side here for second position. Vince Bristow just has to back out of it as they come through the left-handed King can over the jump. There's a really nasty bump there on the inside. And if you're two by two, it can often send you a little bit wider than you're expecting. And if you've got a car on your outside, that can prove to be very detrimental indeed. Vince Bristow there with a lot of traction though, and a lot of drive through the left-hander, but Barry Stewart with an even greater amount of it as he closes up onto the back of the race leader. Through the north bend we go, down the bottom of the circuit. All the while these three are battling, look who's in the background there, sort of lurking away like a Bond villain. It's David Ewan. Let's see whether he can join in the party and the battle for the podium in his Mark III Ford Fiesta. Across the timing line we go, and into the gravel section once more. Sideways once more for Vince Bristow, as we're used to seeing, using the higher line there on the outside of Talladega. Can he get better traction and try and challenge for that second place? Not quite for the time being. Just behind them, you've got uh, Stuart Emery in his retro Volvo 242. Alan Tapscott as well, who's a little bit further back from him because, of course, that first lap incident really put Tapscott out of contention. Up the top of the hill we go once more, though, and it seems to be a game of cat and mouse here for this battle. Uh, for second place between Stewart and Bristow at the moment. Bristow closing up on the tighter technical stuff, but the straight line speed of that Porsche is uh, no match for the E36 BMW of uh, the man in third place of Vince Bristow. Tap's got me while we just saw has closed right up onto the back of Stuart Emery for fifth position as we begin the final lap. At the moment, it will be Lee Wood who will be crowned as the 2023 Super Retro Champion in his Mark II Ford Escort. Here he is taking that wide sweeping line through Talladega or Chessons as it used to be known. Over the jump we go, nice and calm and controlled. Stuart there still holding firm in second place over Vince Bristow, who has his wife is going to try and clear some of the dust and the rocks that are being kicked up on his BMW's windscreen. But there's just no way for him to get up into second position. The straight line speed, especially up the hill, is proving to be very much a saving grace for Barry Stewart in the Porsche 911. But just one more corner then left for Lee Wood as he comes around it now in the round eight final for the Super Retros to be crowned as the 2023 Super Retro champion here at Lytton Hill. It is Lee Wood who is on top 
of the world ahead of Barry Stewart and Vince Bristow in second and third place. Fifth place is still up for grabs here. Stuart Emery in the Volvo is just going to get the better of Alan Tapscott, which is a quite brilliant recovery for the Mark II Escort driver considering the dramas he faced. But Lee Wood takes the win and the title for 2023.